Hi, I'm Trish from Honey Pies Recipes and today I'm going to teach you how to make compound butters. Compound butters are a great way to add lots of flavor very quickly to a piece of fish or a piece of chicken, steak. Compound butters or a mixture of butter, herbs, spices, aromatics such as garlic or shallots, perhaps some cheese, salt and pepper, and an acid, usually a vinegar, lemon juice, lime juice, or uh, perhaps just the zest of a lemon. These are all combined together and then rolled into a little tube so that you can cut it into very thin slices. And then what you do is you just take a plain piece of meat or fish that you've cooked and as soon as they're done cooking, you take thin, thin slices and you lay these on top of the cooked protein and it melts and it gives you a delicious little sauce very quickly. The first compound butter that we're making today is a garlic herb compound butter. It requires two ounces or four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Some herbs, we're gonna take some of our fresh thyme over here and some of our parsley. We're gonna chop those together and we're gonna add some chives. The chives I'll chop separately, just very thin little pieces. We need a little bit of minced garlic. Now I'm going to take the zest of one lemon. Use a little instrument like this called a zester scrape it along the top. All this gets is the zest, the little thin peel on the top that has all of the essential oils of the lemon. And they're quite flavorful and fragrant. Pop those in. Add a good pinch of salt, a couple of grinds of pepper, and then I just take a fork and we're just going to mash this all together. I did bring the, the butter to room temperature before I started. You would never be able to mix it like this if it came straight out of the refrigerator. It's always important to taste. Just right, so got enough salt garlic, the acidity of the lemon is coming through, the nice flavors of the herbs. So this one is ready to be rolled. We're going to take a little piece of plastic wrap here. Scrape this into the center. going to take an angled spatula. You usually find these in the baking area They're used for icing cakes. Fold the film over and then with the back of the spatula just pull this into a cylinder. Roll it up, twist the ends to tighten. Looks like a little sausage. And there you have it. Pop that in the refrigerator so that it becomes firm so that you're able to slice it into thin coins. The next compound butter we're going to make is just a simple lemon and dill. And this is just wonderful on salmon. So we take our fresh dill, the fronds. The stems on the very end are tender, so don't think that you have to pull everything off. And just give a little chop. Okay. The butter and bowl. That's about a 
quarter of a cup of chopped dill. And again, we're going to take the zest of one lemon. Wish you guys could smell it in here. Between the herbs that are being chopped and the lemon, the aromas are just amazing. And once they get on the meat and warm up, they'll be even more amazing. And again, a pinch of salt, some pepper, a fork, and we just mash all of this together. You want to make sure that you really mix well. You don't want to get a little clump of all of that lemon zest in one spot. You'd really like to have it combined thoroughly. I would suggest that you leave the butter out at room temperature a couple of hours. Okay, so this one is done. We're going to wrap and shape it exactly the same way. All right, so it's put in the middle of the plastic, drape it over, take your spatula with the back end, and then just pull it into a tube or a sausage shape. Roll it up. Twist the ends and refrigerate. This last compound butter is a blue cheese with shallots and balsamic vinegar. And this is really great on a, a beefy piece of meat. It has a lot of richness to it. And, uh, I wanted to bring you this one because the other ones, we're, we're cooking fish in this lesson. And the other two are perfect for fish. This is a little heavy for the fish, but I wanted to give you the option of having something else to use besides the lighter compound butters. Detail work. The first thing I'm gonna do is mince the shallot. The blue cheese I'm gonna break up into some smaller pieces and add that to the butter. I'm adding a liquid into this one, the balsamic vinegar, and I'm using only half a teaspoon. Butter will not hold a lot of liquid, so you have to be very careful, and therefore I'm using a very rich and thick balsamic vinegar. This is not your ordinary balsamic vinegar. If you'll notice, it's quite thick. See how that coats? Look at that. See how that coats the inside? Very, very thick. Pinch of salt, some pepper. Today we've made three compound butters. We have the garlic herb, which has garlic, butter, lemon zest, salt, pepper, thyme, chives, and parsley. The garlic herb butter is actually good with everything. We've got the lemon dill, lemon dill, butter, salt, and pepper. The lemon dill, that is good with chicken. It's best with arctic char or some kind of salmon. It's just very complementary to the, that type of fish. And then finally, we have the blue cheese with the butter, the shallots, the balsamic vinegar, salt, and pepper. That is something a little heartier, like steak, flank steak, uh, sirloin steak, a porterhouse, grilled, uh, pan roasted. Um, you could also put it on chicken. I don't think it would go that well with fish. I think it's a little bit too heavy for the fish. But there's lots of things that you can do, and it's a powerful, flavorful, quick way to make a very tasty meal. Thanks for watching Honey Pie's Recipes and letting me bring my kitchen to yours. This garlic herb compound butter goes great on fish, and if you watch this video, what am I doing? This garlic herb compound butter goes great on fish, and if you watch this video here, you'll get to see how we use it. <laughs> we're at the end. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we're finishing something. Right. <laughs>